When you go out, you don't want to miss your tea. You pack your travel tea set, you pack a thermos with hot water, you go out there and whenever you want tea, you brew tea. But what happens after a few hours, that water is not hot enough for proper tea. So in this video, I want to give you some tip. I just came back actually. I went out to meet some friends. We were supposed to go uh, swimming in an indoor pool. We didn't in the end, we just uh, drank some tea. But uh, this morning before going out, I prepare my stuff. So of course I have some tea um, and I have also my thermos. Well, what I want to show you first is that the thermos, I made sure that it stays straight in the backpack. So um, it's hard to show you, but I put it here on the side and fixed it in a way that uh, it stays straight. And then whenever, I stay, I am arrived in my final place, I take it out and I keep it stay straight. If I am outdoor, I keep it under the sun. That helps actually because the sun warms up the outside of the thermos and helps keeping also the content hot. So just that you know, if the sun is shining and you are outdoor, don't keep your thermos maybe even bent inside the backpack. Just take it out and put it under the sun. But now, a few tips, a few tricks to actually make sure that the water inside here is as warm as possible. So what I did this morning actually, first of all I boiled the water really up to 100 degrees uh, centigrade, 212 Fahrenheit, boiling temperature, and then I actually fill in the whole thermos with the hot water. However, that's not for the final purpose. I just fill it in a first time completely. And after doing that, I actually poured a little bit of that hot water from the thermos over the cap, over the cap of the thermos. And in this way, I make sure that the cap of the thermos, this one here, the back, black one here, and also the over cap here have been warmed up. Then I pour out the water in the kettle, sorry, in the thermos, back in the kettle, and actually it lowered down. It was from 100, it was already at 94 degrees, although there was some water left in the kettle. So actually it cools down quite a bit the first time that you pour in the water because the thermal is still cold. So it cooled down the water. After I poured out the water in the kettle, I very quickly sealed it with the cap. I mean, I put also this on top, but you know, with that secondary, and then I bring it back to a boiling. After that, I refill the kettle completely up to the very top. I use a little bit of that top water to warm up another little bit the cap, and then I apply the cap. By doing so, I made sure that the water does not touch the lid. So I left maybe an inch, a couple of centimeters under the lid, so that when I keep the thermos in my backpack and it moves a little bit up and down, it very rarely touch the lid because anytime water is in contact with the lid would much faster lose temperature through the lid. However, the, um, in con the contrary, actually the body of a thermos like this one is vacuumed. So there are two walled, thin walled uh, um, layers actually of metal. And in between there is vacuum that is of course very good insulator but as soon as it comes in touch with the lid then you lose heat quite uh, quickly as i told you before another trick keep it straight of course if you bend it it will touch the lid and also whenever possible keep it under the sun i have been out for quite a while we drank some uh, rock teas today and uh, um, there is a little bit of water left it has been already a few hours maybe five, something like that. And you see it's still, still smoking actually. So it's still fairly hot. I don't have a lot left. Yeah, a bit more than a large cup. That's pretty much it. But it's still fairly warm. And this has been over a few hours. So with just these tricks, you would be able, I would say, to easily gain about uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees centigrade with respect to the classic way where you just fill in hot water in a cold thermos 
and then you don't care to fill it up completely in touching the lid. Very simple tricks that help you brewing tea at the right temperature where you are outside.